Hi guys, my name is Alice, and this guide is assuming you already know basic patterns and mechanics of Brickle from normal mode. We'll only go over major differences that people usually struggle with. 1. The darkening vision with Phantom Knight mechanic happens at 160 HP line, so you need to play close to the boss in order to see his patterns, or people from outside have to kill the knight as soon as possible. 2. There will be a stagger retaliation pattern throughout the fight. This pattern can be really annoying to deal with if you're playing a class with dot damage or lingering spells. He'll do a cone shape attack that stuns you if you trigger the stagger retaliation. You need to iframe with your awakening or spacebar the attack in order to dodge potential follow up attacks afterwards. This pattern has very low stagger threshold, so you cannot be greedy against this pattern. 3. This playful trickster pattern now stuns and always track your position even in PvE mode. And also there will be outside save and inside save variant. Assuming you turn on the head back indicator, you need to go to a side or behind the boss when he used this pattern. If the head indicator doesn't track you, this means it's an out-in pattern so you need to wait outside until the inside explosion ends. Then walk in. There will be enough time for you, so you don't even have to use a spacebar or any kind of dash most of the time even as a zero swiftness class. So stay calm. If the head indicator follows and tracks where you are, then you need to keep moving in circle in order to dodge cone shape attack. Make sure to not be too far away since it's a cone shape attack. 4. There will be a low chance of follow up attack after double slash into ground smash pattern. The follow-up attack tracks your position so you need to be ready to move or use dash skill once the initial pattern is finished. 5. There will be an additional layer in the pixel pattern. It'll do damage and slow you when you try to get out of the pixel box. You can outrange pixel pattern by only moving very very far away. 6. Brockel is immune to any kind of slow including clay grenade. Play Grenade has no use in hard mode. 7. Ruggle gets immunity to two random types of CC. Whenever he uses a series of a slash into spare attack, also known as a wipe attack. So you need to bring another CC battle item or time stops if you've been relying on a single type of CC. Unless you're going to face tank the pattern. You can check his debuff UI or special effects he wears when he uses the pattern. The special effects are very straightforward enough to tell you which CC he's immune to, so you can check and play accordingly. Time stop potion is also recommended if you're in doubt. Those are the major differences and video example of hard mode Brokel. You guys can check out my all Gunslinger point of view, which is closest to item level in my roster if you guys want to watch a solo point of view. Thanks for watching, check the video in the description and go to Lost Boy's stream if you have any questions. Bye guys!